Morning. Andy's here. 30 seconds earlier, I wouldn't have had to open that gate, but... Andy's off out. And I'm going to be off out on the TM. Business. If you're enjoying our videos, please remember to like and subscribe. It really helps us out. And it also keeps you up to date if we go live, which we often do, and keeps you up to date with our videos. So, please do it. Business. These guys are happy to get their feed. You hungry? So I'm just feeding round with the fixed bucket. M's about somewhere. She's opening the gates for Andy, I think. So we'll catch up with her in a minute. See what's happening. Em! Did you like many sheep? Oh. That's exciting, isn't it? Yeah. Andy and Em are strolling up. M1. Getting plenty in there. So this vibrating mirror. Can you hear that rattling? We'll do it in a minute. Oh, you can hear it now. That's um, really starting to annoy me now. <laughs> Andy's tried tightening it up. No joy. Um, either it's spinning around in it. Um, I don't know. We can't. We can't sort it. I love to ring them up and like uh, get them to come out to do a vibrating mirror, but everybody at life is always like, "What's that rattling? What's that rattling?" Um, so yeah, maybe maybe I'll come up with a solution to fix it. <laughs> Hello. Go on, you ask me if I want to know something. Well, I, I want to wake up five o'clock this morning. Oh yeah? Yeah, yeah, I've worked up dog out, been to garage and everything. <laughs> made it here for two minutes to wait. What was that? Business, oh, isn't it? Business, proper business. Are you caught a bike? Yeah. Oh, nice. And you were watching grass grow yesterday? Yeah, I was looking at crops and grass because I cropped at this one over So, because I'm a, uh, you know, I have to go do crop. Because I'm a, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no. Business. Nice one! And he's having heating issues. It's also making it very, very tight for me to get in. Oh, it's getting in my way, isn't it? It is, isn't it? It's terrible. It's terrible. It's a nightmare. It's, it's a nightmare, child. It is, isn't it? I fixed my mirror. <laughs> Do you want to see everybody? A farmer fix in a brand new JCB. No rattle. Business. <laughs> After this bucket, received a bit of TLC yesterday. It's working perfect. I'm in the Scania weapon. I'm gonna go and fill up before it gets to two quid a litre. If it's not there already. <laughs> yeah. Two pound. One seventy eight point nine seems cheap. The garage filling up. Andy and M have kindly filled my spreader for me. I'm gonna go and finish off what I didn't do the other day because the fields are a bit wet. Hopefully it's dried out enough. And then we're going to do some muck spreading. Or oh, them guys are going to go on muck spreading now. And I'm going to join them later. So I'm just spreading fit on here. I'd just like to point out, I did not drill this field. Uh, my dad did. Look at all these misses. It looks absolutely shocking. I am um, him to say that this is our field. I think it looks terrible. Terrible, terrible yeah, job. Just jumped out of the tractor to move uh, these pieces of wood out of the way because these aren't very good for the combine, very good for the crop growing, so I better pull these out of the way. And yeah, just have a check on this uh, on this wheat. Oh, it does quite well down here as long as the uh, as long as the water stops. It's really like black land, fertile land. But yeah, if it's underwater, you can't. Uh, it's been underwater. See all this here? It's a shoreline. And that's where the water's took it all to, and then obviously into the dike. Oh, a couple of ducks down there, look. Nice to see. Paired up. Ready for spring. He's been drilling this one as well. Some nice misses there, some nice misses there. Nice misses along. Makes it easy for me to work out where the uh, 12 meter tram line is, though, because I can just count his drill, uh, drill whips. So right now I'm just running out what I've got left in the fertilizer spreader on the grass. So what do people think to that? Into a thousand pound a ton. And I'm chucking it on a bit of grazing land. Hmm. <laughs> I've been the price that it is. I've been inside the machine. I've got this much out. Look at that. I'm gonna spread it on the paddock grass out here. Usually that much, I'll just push it. But um, I'm getting every little 
Peace out. Down to the field. These guys have been spreading muck uh, most of the morning. We got M on this 210R. Andy's behind me on the new uh, 6130R and the little spreader. And my dad's on the JCB loading, but he's going to go back to the uh, farm. I'm going to take over loading the loading the spreaders. So. Yeah. As well. This is where the bib load tyres don't really excel, but to be honest, if we were on ag tyres, they would probably be full of mud in a, in a muck, muck stack bottom like that. Um, they just get the cleats get full, and you're just running on a round blow up piece of tyre. I'm so. on the JCB now, Andy setting off there with another load, hitting his spread. M's just up top end of field, she was coming back with half a load on. <laughs> and, uh, so we just had to send her back out to get rid of it and empty it. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. M in the background there, coming back now. Right, I better do some tidying up while I'm waiting. It's really dry, like, see over there, it's quite dusty, but this muck stack bottom is really wet. I'm just like, really trying to, uh, sorry I'm just trying to indicate to M where I want to there, um, I'm trying to really get in here but it's just spinning my wheels all the time so if M goes over there, turns that way and then backs up from it, I can stay on the dry hopefully. Beat cleaner going up the road, that's what cleaned all that beat that was in the yard for us, could just do with that, uh, with that loading shovel in here right now. It's behind me, just got sort off for another load. This muck, muck stack is proper stressing me out. Uh, it's really wet, I can't get any traction. It's an absolutely horrible job. Oh, and it's really rough as well. Just let it end. <laughs> now I'm just trying to tidy up the muck, the muck pile bottom. It's really wet, so I'm just pushing it all to uh, an area that's dry, and then uh, I'll put that onto M's load. We'll get it filled up, then Andy will come and pick M back up because she's not got her uh, driving license to tractor test, so she can't drive it back. He'll come and pick the tractor up, take it back, and we can do some feeding up on that. I've just swapped my dad uh, halfway on the road, he's going back with that and I'm picking up this fallen tree, helping out a friend of ours to uh, get it shifted so we can burn it for his, uh, his wood burner. Yeah, now got that tree shifted, uh, just odd little branches which uh, we make Keith, he's gonna sort that out. And Andy is on mixing. M, I'm guessing, is, um, well, I don't know what should be doing actually, because I've got the other machine, on not I? So we'll go and find what M's doing and we'll get some feeding up done. Mention these two are here, aren't they? We're well, right. Not staying for long though. Oh right, why? Because I've turned up, is that right? Yeah, it could be that. that. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna my daughter's for tea. Are you? Yeah. It is. Oh. Slippers off it, radiator. And my slippers will be I've got my own slippers here, they'll be on radiator warmed up for me. Will they? Yep. She's a good one for you, isn't she? She's have to be my daughter. She does. <laughs> slippers on radiator, they'll be red hot. <laughs> Business. Well, they've come out now, haven't they? Yeah. It's giving me a good shaft in. Nice, no, starts to get cocky. So I'm going to clip right here, look at it. He does get cocky. He just gets so, like, passionate about wood, doesn't you? Yeah. I think it's passion. I'm a barzer, lad. Don't forget. <laughs> Em's just been washing the fertilizer spreader. Andy's fetching the mixer in. I think Em's then going to wash the 210. Andy's jumping on that finish the mix off. I'm jumping on this to feed the cows. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> so I've just fed round, just finished off with the fodder beef, which I think these guys here are happy with. And then, not really got a lot left to do. We'll have to check out, and what else we've got to do? Uh, tractors to clean. That's it. This trough, Stop. for some reason, is running really steady. We've got another trough in the corner of this pen, so they're fine if this one doesn't work. But um, we want to get it cleaned out, don't we, Em? Yep. I'm impressing yep. Em here, showing them my water fountain skills. <laughs> hey, 
Oh, it's still cheap. It's still cheap. Oh, hey, it's good, that, isn't it? Good, isn't it? En entertainment, nah. that. That, how much is that? Like twenty pence. Twenty pence for entertainment. Fantastic. I'm cleaning this water trough and untuck it. I've got this one just mugging me all the time. What are you doing? <laughs> hey? You're really friendly, aren't you? Do you want to look at it? What do you reckon? You want it? No? Not bothered? Okay. So me and Em have just fixed, Em sir, have just fixed um, the water trough. We got that thing in all eventually, didn't we Em? Uh, we're struggling with this pin that you've got to put in. It's and actually right at this spot. Show him how to do it. It's not that difficult, is it? Well, I did it in like I did it in like 15 seconds, and then we're, then we're like doing it in about 15 minutes. Um, but yeah, we're about done, Mick, aren't we? Are you off? Yeah, I've got to be up early morning. I got to be up early morning. Yeah. Are you coming up here? Dream team! Oh, uh, we're dream team now. I'm the boy. <laughs> He's getting a bit sensitive because uh, I said that us three what dream team. Yeah, and he, want, he wants to be involved in it. So, but yeah, um, please subscribe and like if you like our stuff. And you know what will happen. We'll do a video tomorrow and you can see us then. He's here in background, walking ash, but he's not luminous today. See you later, guys. Dilly dilly. Bye. He's educating me. <laughs>